following is an original presentation of USA Football for a better, safer game. The city of Long Beach sits less than an hour south of the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, but it's a world away. Amongst the oil rigs and freeways that crisscross its boundaries lies a demanding environment that above all else is a crucible for developing a single trait, character. It's a good time to be excited, man. We got four days, right? But with everything else, we don't rush to it, right? Go through the process. So today's gonna be a lot of film work, slow down, putting the game plan in. You look at football, it's not a class, but it really is. Every practice, every scrimmage, every game, every opponent, the more you learn and know about your opponent, know about our defense and our offense and our special teams, the better we'll be. I think the big question that needs to be answered kind of to me is how quickly can they grow up into the players that their coaches see them being? I ain't said it all year, but man, regardless of what our schedule is like, this is still a championship caliber team. It's all about character. So we did our part of beating up on one another. Now it's time for the brothers to get hand by hand and beat this Arizona team, all right? With training camp behind them, Polly turns their focus to an opening day matchup against Centennial High School, last year's <laughs> Arizona <laughs> Division II state <laughs> champion. Some of these kids have never even been on a plane, on a bus ride alone. So, the different obstacles that we're going to have to overcome is going to be interesting, but I think as the season goes on, you're teaching them how to, one, break out of their shell. The Jackrabbits have a new quarterback and a young defense, both facing the strong challenge of their first game. Okay, we got motion. All they're doing right now, quarterback, they rotate with their safeties. But for a program like Poly, each new generation knows the tradition they are expected to uphold. The first game is where you set your mark. You know, start off fast, end off fast. So just start how you finish. Oh, Jeremy, you gonna show me sir? Jeremy! I got you, coach. Set! Go! Let's work! Come on! This first challenge will put their character into action. But for their coach, overcoming adversity has long been a way of life. For me, you know, growing up in Compton, you know, you're surrounded by gangs and drugs, and, you know, I had the same distractions that you know, we're dealing with today here. And so I was like 12 years old, I remember telling my mom, like, I'm going to be a professional football player. Pierce's love of the game helped him grow into an all-state linebacker at Paramount High School. But an unexpected roadblock kept him from accepting his scholarship offers. One year in school, I was too cool for school. And then the next thing came up was like, no, you're not eligible. Why? What happened? Well, you go back to your sophomore year, you kind of screwed up in school, you don't qualify. I had to go to junior college, probably the most uh, humbling, disappointing thing that I had to go through at the time, I felt. and. Um, Probably the best move I made in my whole entire life. Pierce transferred to the University of Arizona in 1999, making a name for himself in the tradition of Desert Swarm. But despite a prolific college career, scouts were unsure if his size was enough to make it in the NFL. You're hearing that you know you might be a mid to late round draft pick, okay? I'm taking down every linebacker, Dan Morgan, first pick, okay? Tommy Polly, Brian Allen, boom, round seven come, I'm like, uh oh, something's wrong. Go through seven rounds undrafted. Boom, rock bottom. I mean, I remember, I wasn't crying, I wasn't sad, I was shocked. Pierce was given an opportunity as a free agent with the Washington Redskins. But like most things in life, nothing was guaranteed. I tell the coach, give me the playbook, done. I stayed up every night. I didn't even go to bed, I probably slept four hours even when we had practices, and we had five practices in three days. And uh, I was determined not only to know my position, but every position on the field. And I, when I came back, I was like, there's no way these other rookies that's undrafted are gonna even come close to beating me up, not even close. And I'm gonna beat one of these veterans out because I'm gonna work harder. And I remember I was just that, that young kid that just ran like a little jack, right and left. And I remember Marty, Marty Schottenheimer, who was my coach, was like, he pulled me aside, he said, I know what happened to you in college, um, but for everybody, you get, you get an opportunity, and this is your opportunity, you need to make the most out of it. 
And with that, I ran with it, man. Pierce would go on to play nine seasons in the NFL, including a victory in Super Bowl 42 with the New York Giants and a trip to the Pro Bowl. World champions, baby! Write that down! But his ultimate validation can be found in the lessons he learned from the game. And what it teaches you is that regardless of what life throws at you, you gotta keep fighting. You gotta keep going. You know, there is no quit. There's no um, sitting on your tail or, or laying down and asking somebody to be easy on you. Nobody's gonna hand you anything. And for me, I was never handed anything. So for everything that I've done, football showed me you gotta work for it. Five forty-seven. How you guys feeling? I feel good. Yeah, excited. excited. Yeah. Like every time we up at this early, like I thought we were having practice. I was like, oh, we got another double day. Like, what if the game really was like next week? <laughs> and he tricked us. Bus driver, pull over. <laughs> Body business. <laughs> Another opportunity, our first opportunity of the year to stamp, to stamp what this team is about. The first opportunity to show what this team is all about. But what is this team? We're physical, we play with attitude, we play with swagger, we play with confidence, we play like no other team they've ever seen before. That's the team that we showcase tonight. Everything we've been doing, man, all the way back from March 3rd, when we started up the spring ball, you guys busting your balls in the weight room, man. Sprinting. We banged like no other during pads. We banged, man, we banged. But now we've got an opportunity to pick that on somebody else. Let's not make no joke about what this game's gonna come down to. Can we stop the run? Can we stop the run? And can we run the football and score? This is what we want, man, football's fun. I told you guys, I'm the most jealous guy in this room. I'm mad I can't strap it up with y'all. But I do get the joy to watch you guys play. And I expect to watch a fun, excited group today. Enjoy playing with one another, man. Enjoy playing with them. Enjoy every moment. Every time somebody make a big play, celebrate, man. Make that contagious. Not one guy in this room is going to win this game for us. Everybody is. Everybody. Have fun today, man. Have fun. It's a party. And it starts in about 15 minutes. Heads in the tail, you're gonna call it in the air. Listen to what he called the last week. If I drop it, we do it again. Here we go. Heads. What he called? Heads. He called heads, it is a head. You've won the toss. Start the toss right, right now! Right now! It begins right now, right now! Puts his back on the counter, he's gonna get the first down and more. Hey! It's holding, throwing it long. DB, throwing it long. Right here, play smart. The poly defense sets the tone early. Oh, oh, intercepted. But the offense, riddled with penalties and mistakes, is not able to capitalize. JB, trip! Trip! JB, trip! In the second quarter, Centennial seizes momentum and drives deep into poly territory. Heavy, 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 Josh, Josh. Come here, hurry up to your lineup. Leroy's right here. Everybody else back up. Leroy, you're right here. You're another guy, just like Delta, okay? Come on, baby, come on. First game. <laughs> the defense holds strong, yet cannot stop a quarterback sneak on fourth and goal from the one yard line. As Polly trails at the half by six, Coach Pierce challenges his staff to not only find answers, but all for solutions. Find a way to get Jack the ball. We gotta do whatever we can to get him the ball. We gotta get our mind right, man. We can go cut these mothers out, but we gotta give them a plan. They're young. They don't know what's going on. We gotta control it, man. So let's give them a plan. So whatever the offense got before we go in there, let's give them a plan. All right? But the players have their own sense of urgency. This is all we got, we're real brotherhood. This is real shit. This ain't no game, this is life, this is our only way out. Come on, y'all. Fight the ball. Go! 
We're in the game. Couple of mistakes here and there. Turnovers always cost you games. Special teams can cost you games. But it's a lot of football left. It's a six nothing game. Don't panic. Defense tackle, wide receivers catch. That's football. They're gonna run and pass every play. This is be the team that makes more plays. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Senior Jack Jones wastes little time proving that actions are just as important as words. He's got some room. He's got some room. He's going to go. One man to beat. He cuts back. He's gone. Touchdown. There he is, Jack Jones. Jones' spectacular touchdown gave Polly the lead heading into the fourth quarter. But once again, their defense would be tested. <laughs> Having to stop another critical fourth down attempt in the red zone. They come out of the same formation. Corners, you're locked on a tight end. Eyes got to be there. Linebackers, you got the first thing to the flat. First thing to the flat. The other safety, which is Dre. Whatever side you're on, you got the first guy to the flat. Look at the fullback, he takes you to the ball. Linebackers, downhill. Downhill, this is the big play. Here it is, here's for the marbles. He wants it more. There oh, it is. Oh, he's going to score. This time, the offense would respond, turning to 5'10 sophomore running back Michael Mawai for a spark. Polly's get begin to find their offensive uh, swagger a little bit. And now you can finally start to see the no huddle take its toll on the defense. Another draw. He's got a big hole. He's got it. Touchdown, Jackrabbits. Clinging to a one-point lead, Jack Jones makes the switch to defense, making sure that nothing stands in the way of victory. Come here, Jack. 13-12 game. The Yotes need a field goal. They need any kind of score to win. Polly needs a stop right here. He's got some room. Juking back and forth, and he's going to get a great gain. He's going to get around the 32-yard line. Jack, be smart. Student section's it. really setting the tone. They're jumping up and down. The bleachers are shaking. Oh! That was a monster hit. Woo! Lay down the wood, son. And on fourth down, the defense makes its final stand. This is what it's all about. High school football, it's best. Game one. All comes down to this. Four yards. Barnes, he's not oh, going to get don't it. Think he made it. This ball game's over. On the surface, 48 minutes of struggle represents a 1 0 record. But to the young players in green and white, their first game is an exercise of far greater worth. Teaching them to dig deep, overcome adversity and to trust in the character that is being developed. This ain't a 7-3 team, this ain't an 8-2 team. This is a 9-1 undefeated team. Every year, that's what we expect. That's what this program expects. That's why you came here, to play at a high level and to compete and play championship caliber football. So we'll get better. All right, let's just be honest with ourselves. Look in the mirror, but stop the trash talk. Grow up. Grow up. At some point, you guys are going to be men. But guys, hell of a job for the first win. Good job, right? Yeah. Somebody give us a break, give us a break. One house on me, one house on three, one, two, three. One on the next episode of Football for Life. Football, I mean, it's my passion. It's just something that drives me. Throwing our branches, belly in, chest is lifted. Hands to the heart. Because if you go here, it's hard to work back. Narbonne in 2012 just demolished Polly. Jack, I want you right there. Coffee, I want you on that number. I'ma do this here forever. Forever. I'ma do this here forever.